woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me. It's the country that I live for, the place I long to be. Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador. Hi folks, welcome to another show. This week we're doing what many tens of thousands of Newfoundlanders are doing. We're going moose hunting. Now my buddy Wolf, my partner for I suppose 40 years moose hunting, and uh, Gord Follett, we've got a license for Norris Gander bull only, which <laughs> like you say Wolf is half a license because more often than not you see all kinds of cows. Now, my buddy Pete Tucker, whose cabin we're staying at, he's going to join us a little bit later, and Pete has an either sex license. So yeah. we've got the potential of getting two lovely animals here in Norris Canada. Yeah, I mean, like you say, I got the rough one as the bull only, but uh, we had to get a license, so to make it sure that we get a license, we yeah. went that way. Well, they don't work now, out, do you, I'm sure. We're going to be doing a combination of everything. We're going to be driving around the Toyota Tundra. I've got a brand new Yamaha Viking side by side that we're going to be driving around lots of woods, woods roads here so yeah. we're going to be doing some going on that yeah. and we're going to be doing some walking believe it or not <laughs> not much no, uh, no, yeah. i told you when we were coming i had to do much walking <laughs> but i did have a little ride in your uh, yamaha and i must say yeah, it's, nice. it's a beautiful machine so. great to carry moose out so <laughs> i think so. i can handle a ride in that one yeah yeah now we're a little bit later in the season is not prime rutting time so we're going to be doing some calls as well and hopefully We'll entice one of those animals to come out, but if not, we're just going to be doing a lot of hoofing it and hopefully harvest an animal. Yeah, well, we usually work, so when we work, we'll get them one. Exactly. Don't yes. Don't know how many days we're going to have to spend here, but whatever it takes. That's true. So sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy today's moose hunt here in Area 24, Norris Gander. It's our second morning of hunting and it's been eventful so far. Yesterday it was a write off. I mean, we had a torrential downpour. So consequently, we never got on the go that much. We were driving the truck because it was so miserable. This morning, we started coming here to this location that we had known about from previous trips. What did we see? We saw a nice young bull, probably four to six points. We couldn't quite tell because it was just after getting late. But you know what? We were next to a bunch of cabins in the law states that you got to be more than 300 meters from a cabin. Here was the moose, practically posed, standing up for minutes. <laughs> and all we could do was look. That was it. So anyway, he went up in the driveway and we, we left and we came in here. We had about half an hour's drive to get to this location. Right now, way off in the distance, down through a valley up over a hill, on top of the hill. Here's a nice bull. So I've been trying for the last 10 minutes with my trusty collar. Um, it's probably too far away even for the moose to hear. But you never know, there might be something down in the valley that'll hear that sound. You know what they're like this time of year. This is prime rutting season. So, you know, we might be able to call something up to our location. And did I dick there? <laughs> Then I think they shouldn't have any problem bringing it down. I'm talking about you, over. <laughs> We've got a nice morning here now. It's, uh, it's a little bit breezy, but at least temperatures are a bit cool. Went down to six last night, which is nice because I think what happens when you get cooler temperatures, 
I think it makes the moose more active. So having it cool, having it prime rutting season right now. You know, I think before the days uh, we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get an animal. We're gonna get Wilford's bull. I see that bull over there, man. Why couldn't that be closer? Huh? You see it, Wolf? Yep. See the big black tree right in front of you? A couple hundred yards down the valley? Mm -hmm. Just go towards the top and right at the edge of the tree line. That's the bull. Everybody says that a bull only license is half a license because this is what happens. Nice animal. Our buddies are coming up tomorrow and they've got two either sex licenses. So at least now, you know, by going here, we'll be able to tell them well, there's a cow here for sure that we've seen, right? We just imagine put that two this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, gee, man. the luck in the draw, do we? That too, so easy, so easy. Oh well, look at the fun, fun you're having, yeah. huh? Well, look, a bad day yeah. outdoors, you better have a good day in the office. Somebody right? just said that, didn't they? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a good, that's a good saying, yeah. Go get that feet of tongues now, Gore. <laughs> you had to come up here to get a feet of tongues. Is that correct? Yes, uh, They're not fresh ones. <laughs> no. Well, they are they're fresh. Yeah. Peter Tuffin, first week of the season, helped two fellows get the moose. Oh, right really? And of course, everybody knows my favorite part of the moose is the tongue, so Peter brought me back a couple of tongues. And I added to my special recipe, oh, so I decided to boil them for four hours. And I would put some oxo in the water, two or three packs of oxo. Boil them for four hours, then bake them for about half an hour so they're not too wet. But this time I put some of that uh, Nucleland seasoning moose spice on it. Yeah. And I also put some, uh, letting out my secret now, roasted garlic and red pepper. Uh, <laughs> with the salt and pepper, of course. Now. Oh, that's what Gordy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dig in, ladies. Oh, my. Oh well, there goes Gordon. Testing one, two, three. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. God. Good. Mm. Wow. Well, oh. eh? Mm. Oh my. I even got some toast to make a sandwich. Mm. Oh. Toast, boys, or like that. Wow. <laughs> salt there, some more doy. Well, mm -hmm. need the salt. We're going to this is not a boil, obviously, this is just a broad paper. We saw two moose so far today. I pulled. Why cause this, Dwight, uh, what would you say, uh, interesting, but not successful, right? Yeah, well, you know, you're excited as long as you can see some animals. Yes. Actually, I'm, I'm excited, even if you see fresh tracks. Yeah. Because I was this morning, 
50 yards away from Will. Will could have easily had it, but he was on the main road and close to Kevin, so obviously we couldn't take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I had, so I had live another yeah. day. I had two moose this morning uh, in my sights. You, you could have had, had both. Mm -hmm. No sweat. Okay, one was uh, uh, a bull only, which I got. And uh, we were into the cabin. Too again. close to the cabins. And Next the other one. The cow, yeah. which I can't shoot. Right. So, anyway, it was still interesting. Well, we're not even halfway through the day yet, so we'll continue. We're, we're uh, covering a lot of territory today where you've got a, a Yamaha Viking side by side, a three seater, a dandy one that our friends from Atlantic Rec and Yamaha gave us a loan, though. So we've been going around all these old woods roads for the last three or four hours looking for signs of moose, staking the spot out, doing a bunch of column and we saw some good sign. And we'll probably continue that this afternoon after we have a, a bite to eat. Some more experience, do we? Peter. You ain't gonna get any more experience than Peter no, up here, eh? He knows right. this place like the back of his hand. Yeah, that's right. But the only thing to see with Peter, too, he goes into woods hunting. Yeah. You and me, uh, I can't go into woods anymore. It's 10 days ago. You shouldn't gone. be so negative. He knows you can run. <laughs> yes, I can run. You walked up to that car over this morning. It wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, no, I got that is still yeah. But uh, like I say, Peter is the man. And Good thing they came out today. They yeah. should be out now. Well, they were in. We need uh, ice. <laughs> <laughs> what for? <Your> Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Lord. For Gordy, don't like. Don't you keep like. me awake, buddy. <laughs> I'm not even close to sleep now, but. No, but. Oh, but I'm wide awake. You're doing well, Gord. We've seen some fresh tracks on the road here, which is good. I mean, the road is nice and hard, too. So anytime you see fresh tracks on a hard road, you know, it's uh, it's a really good sign. That is true. Yeah. So just stay here and see what happens. See what happens. And tomorrow, well, we'll have to sit down and strategize tonight and see what we're going to do tomorrow. I know yeah. Pete's probably going to say, let's go down, down close to the river, but... Well, yeah. I can't get there. We tried that. It's yeah. A little wash out. And, yeah. yeah. It's a bridge after washing out. And it's a little long ways down. Gee, there must be 12, 15 feet, eh? Yeah, it was too. So well, you ain't going to get that? No, it, was, it wasn't worth taking a chance. No. Nah. No. Plus, it's so grown in. I mean, this is a, this Yamaha Viking that we've got here 
is a beautiful vehicle. It's got very high clearance and but it's a bit wide, you know, for a lot yeah. of the quad trails. Yes, because right now, too, so, you we know, found that a lot of those trails are growing in with all of that, eh? Yeah. You know, so. Yep. Too close, I think. Oh, what a shot, Lord. Uh, Lord. What? I know I wouldn't take him down either. Or he's gentle. Huh? Hey, Petey. What's that, sir? Cam Cook. Yeah, or, or call me what you always calls me now. <laughs> I can't do that. That's a nice grouse, yeah, huh? We're a family show. <laughs> That's a big grouse. That's a big grouse. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and here we are on a Sunday. You're not allowed to hunt on Sundays anyway. Not, not this month anyway. No, it's not October yet. And here we have the big old scarf. We're going to have the feed. No moose yet, so we had to eat turkey. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow night we're going to have moose. Exactly. <laughs> so the gravy brownie and stuff we need to. Oh, I got all that hair. Oh, right here. Right. Here's the gravy brownie. Here's the flour. I'm gonna make up some of this stuff. Feed? Yes, sir. You got a half price for your haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if anybody's watching this on TV, he knows exactly what I want to say to him. I'd say say it. Go ahead, Go no, ahead. They keep bleeding me in. <laughs> you got a what? Holly. Holly. Here we go. Your missus sees you cooking again now. My, my missus no, miss, my missus knows. Oh, <laughs> yeah. gentlemen, gentlemen, thank you for the invite to Northwest Gander. Uh, we got to make Glenwood, Northwest Gander, Area 24, great again. But, but, I hope you get in again, too, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I, I really do. You deserve to be in. Love to be yeah. here, boys. I'm yes. Peter Tucker, Kevin. <laughs> yes. It's fantastic to see you guys here. Where's the moose? You're going to make this place great again. Don't burn yourself, huh? I'm going to try not to. Not easy, but I'm going to try not to. Well, anyway, boys, it's uh, free for all. Everybody take up what they want yourselves. And if they don't want... You got the salt beef in there, too. And you know the, the motto from, I think it's uh, Blue Boy Food Shockers. Best, you can't best beat the meat. Oh, no, no. Exactly. Well. That's what they say. Is that what you say? What? Oh. You don't get no mess out of yourself, right? So. Yeah, you're going to need more than that. <laughs> what? Yeah, I should wrap wrapping up the spread. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same clock there for this one. Something from the lap? Yep. What a uh, scarf. Oh, Sunday stuff. dinner at the cabin. Exactly. Oh, if boy. people only knew, no. could only taste this, be unreal, eh? Yep. Oh, what a time. We haven't got a moose yet. <laughs> what a time we're having. <laughs> and here today, of course, like I said earlier, being Sunday, it's a day that you're not allowed to hunt yet because we're still in September. So we helped our buddy cut up a bit of wood for his cabin and we cooked a big old scuff. Yep. What more do you want? Perfect. Well, you need a day of rest anyway because we've been hunting pretty hard the last few days. So you need a day of rest. Good job on the meal, day. boys. Wicked. My compliments to the chefs. Can you give me my glass here, Gordy? Yes. Toast to the boys.
There we go. Close to the boys. Close to the boys. Close there close you go. Good job. Success tomorrow. Great That's job. Right. Yes. Yeah. And thanks, guys. And Wilford Boy, we gave it the good old cottage try. Huh? When you go out dark, driving the roads, then walks in, and gets into a perfect situation, and still nothing. We just came from a series of three cut hours. We were in the middle one. In the middle of the middle one, because that way you could see the cut hour on our left, and you could see the cut hour on our right. We had absolutely perfect conditions this morning. The wind was in our face and uh, blowing in towards the trees, so, you know, that wasn't an issue. No, no, there's nothing there an issue this morning. No, we saw Not some really. fresh tracks, but yeah. you can't eat tracks. And, and at the same time, when we did arrive at the scene where we were going to do some hunting, what were here? Bang. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, somebody must have uh, got a moose not too far from us, maybe a kilometer or so. It's yeah. one of those quiet mornings you can hear yeah. a pin drop, hey? Yeah. And about a kilometer up that way, there were four shots. Yeah. And then we looked through the binoculars, and you got a series of cutovers here everywhere. And I looked up that way, and I could see four or five hunters coming in. It appeared that they were bending over, ponds and the moose, but mm -hmm. it was a fair off. But the only thing we can do now is what, drive the roads well, and pick some spots. And... Later in the morning, we'll look around now for some more yeah. fresh sign, and hopefully yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bull Winkle will jump out in front of us. And yeah. hopefully our friends who are gone away, Peter and uh, Bob, hopefully they'll have a bit of luck, you know. Yeah, they're going to a spot that's difficult to get to. It's all grown in with alders big time. Yeah. But uh, it appeared, based on their trip up there yesterday, that's yeah. where some moose were hanging out. That's exactly right. Yeah. Now they're younger guys than us, and they've got better legs than we do, so. Well, we got a bigger machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a bit bigger machine. It apparently it's rough got going, eh? Comfort, though, eh? Oh, well, it's most definitely. You know. is it? This is your machine, really, yeah. This is you deadly. Yeah. I'd, I'd sacrifice the size of the extra width any day for the comfort. because of the comfort. Yeah, that's right. Now we get to do a windshield put on here, and you oh, know, you'll have no, her No question. Now let's yeah. move on to somewhere and yeah. okay. hope we can find a moose, hey, boy? Yes, boy. Yeah. Beautiful day, though, in the meantime. Perfect. Oh. Not even cold. No. About five we've seen yep. in the last couple of days. That's five, see? Why couldn't that be two bulls, eh? No, no, Oops. No. Oh, another one way down there. Just went in the woods. Is that right? Yeah, right down the turn. Not too worried, anyway. <laughs> no. Not too worried. Bang. Thank you.